Michael B. Jordan's trainer put Michael through an incredibly well-constructed bodybuilding plan to get him looking huge for his role as Killmonger in 2018's Black Panther. In this video, I'm going to dive into what made Michael B. Jordan's bulk for Black Panther so effective. I'm going to talk about the man's steroid use for the role, and then I'm going to give you all the information you need, including a full workout plan, to pack on some serious size, just like Michael did. It was the first Creed movie that really started Michael B. Jordan's journey to becoming a Hollywood fitness icon. For Creed, Michael's mission was to get absolutely ripped up. I'm talking capped shoulders, ripped abs, and chiseled arms. And Michael B. Jordan nailed it. But when you're playing Rocky's protege, the bar is set pretty high and failure isn't really an option. So Michael B. Jordan's Creed training plan got him ripped and lean. But to bulk up for his upcoming role playing the real life version of the massive Eric Killmonger, who in the comic is 6'6 and 225 pounds, his training and diet were really gonna need a major overhaul. But Michael B. Jordan didn't have to go it alone. Enter Corey Collette, the man who has been training Michael B. Jordan since his red hot days playing the Human Torch in that one Fantastic Four film everyone is still kind of trying to forget about. Sorry to bring it up by the way, that, that's my bad. For Creed, Corey had Michael doing an insanely high volume training plan that would have Michael training hard twice a day, six days a week. These workouts were a mix of boxing, high intensity cardio, bodybuilding, and ab training. And like I said, that plan worked great to get Michael all shredded up. But to truly become the massive killmonger, Michael and his trainer were going to need to turn to a plan that was 100% focused on building mass and size. Michael and his trainer Corey were committed to getting Michael looking as close as possible to the comics version of Killmonger. I love to see the heart and passion that these two brought to the process, but I can see a bit of a small, or I guess you could say short problem here. Michael B. Jordan is around 5'11", and Killmonger is 6'6 in the comics. Now, with the right program, getting bigger width-wise is easy, but I'm sorry to say that it's going to take a lot of chicken, broccoli, and rice to get Michael B. Jordan up to 6'6", like Killmonger in the comics. But hey, celebrity personal trainers have got all kinds of secret serums, so who knows what's possible. But in all seriousness, Michael's trainer Corey has a rich bodybuilding history, which I feel like is kind of obvious, judging by the fact that at any moment he could just explode out of his sweater. And Corey used his vast knowledge of bodybuilding and designer sweaters to build Michael B. Jordan a no nonsense classic bodybuilding program designed to get his physique looking comic book worthy. But you could be doing the world's most perfect bodybuilding program. One that was bestowed to you from on high, straight from the hands of the bodybuilding gods themselves. But if you're not packing back some serious calories, you're never gonna grow. So what did Michael B. Jordan's diet look like while he's bulking up for Black Panther? Well, he would eat five to six high protein and carb meals a day to fuel his performance. His Black Panther diet was very similar to his Creed diet, but the main change they made to his Black Panther diet is they had him drastically increase his carb intake. While training for muscle growth, carbohydrates are your very best friend, and this is because of their anabolic, aka muscle building properties. See, when you eat carbohydrates, your blood sugar increases, and then your body releases insulin to store all of this sugar. And insulin is actually quite the anabolic hormone, which means it helps you build muscle. It's actually so effective at helping you build muscle that insulin is actually one of the main hormones that modern day bodybuilders take to get so huge. Carbs are also your muscle's main fuel source. And the more fuel you give your body, the more hard work you're gonna be able to do in the gym. And as we all know, bodybuilding is all about the accumulation of high quality volume in the gym. So carbs are amazing when it comes to building muscle, you get it. But how should you use this information when you're constructing your diet for muscle growth? Well, the main thing you need to keep in mind about the three major macronutrients, protein, fat, and carbs, is that it's important to get the right amount of all three, but for protein and fat, once you get the required daily amount, you don't really get additional benefits from consuming additional amounts. But with carb consumption, you don't really see the same kind of diminishing returns. So you can just keep adding more and more carbs and you'll keep seeing more and more benefits. So while you're training for muscle growth, you should aim to eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight per day, around 0.3 to 0.4 grams of fat per pound of body weight per day, and then just use the rest of your daily calories for carbs. This will take your performance to the next level. Your workouts will feel better because of all the extra fuel, and your pumps will be feeling nasty and you'll be looking huge. Thank me later. While you're eating big and getting big, you're gonna need some badass workout apparel that'll hug your newly built muscles just right. And that's why my partners over at SuperX come in. They make the world's most badass superhero themed workout apparel. You can think of them like a mix between Marvel and Lululemon. They've got designs based off all your favorite heroes, like Captain America, Batman, Nightwing, and Moon Knight. All their super suits are made with high quality super stretch fabric, making them perfect for any workout. And with thousands of five star reviews from all over the world, you know it's good stuff. To get your very own super suit, follow the link down in my description and use code DEMERS at checkout for 20% off your first order. Now back to the video. Okay, back to Michael's training plan. So this plan had Michael doing 
between tried and true bodybuilding movements like bench press, lat pulldowns, and deadlifts. Corey would have Michael perform these movements at high volumes, so that means Michael was pumping out a lot of sets and reps. And Corey would always have Michael push close to failure while focusing on contracting the muscle that they were working. This is also known as having a good mind-muscle connection. And the last piece of the puzzle was they were always focused on training harder than last time. This is also known as progressive overload. When Michael B. Jordan started working out with Corey back in the Fantastic Four days, oh god, sorry, I did it again. I got I gotta stop talking about it. Back in those days, Michael could barely bench two 25-pound dumbbells. But by the time they got to Black Panther, he was pushing 115 pound dumbbells in each hand. Now that's progressive overload in action. Corey understands that when it comes to building a solid physique, you can leave all that Instagram influencer fitness hack bullshit at the door. So I'm about to make life real easy for you and give you the simple, no bullshit four step process for getting bigger in the gym, just like Michael B. Jordan. All for free right now, you're welcome. Step one, follow the push pull full body workout program I'll be giving you for free at the end of the video. Or you can follow any other well-constructed bodybuilding program. Jeff Nippard has some really great ones. Number two, while training, always choose weights that leave you with between zero to two good reps left in the tank at the end of each set and perform your movements with a full range of motion and a controlled tempo. Make sure to always be honest with yourself about how many reps you really had left in the tank at the end of each set. Because if you're not giving it your full effort and you're leaving a lot of reps in the tank, you just aren't gonna grow very efficiently, especially as you become more advanced. And as you get stronger, you'll notice the same weights that you're using don't push you as close to failure as they used to. And that's when it's time to up the weights. This process is known as progressive overload. And it's pretty much the most important thing when it comes to getting jacked, especially in the long term. Step three, get around eight to nine hours of quality sleep each night. Everyone on the internet is always complaining that everyone else on the internet is on steroids and that's why they don't look as good as them. No, the real reason you look like shit is because you're sleeping like shit. If you don't sleep enough, it tanks your ability to recover from your workouts and it tanks your natural testosterone levels as well. So getting a good night's sleep is pretty much free natural steroids. So you'd be crazy not to take advantage of that. And number four, eat three to five high carb, high protein meals a day. And at each meal, eat until you're fairly full. Track your weight and track your body measurements each week. And if you're gaining less than 0.5 of your overall body weight each week, eat more. And if you're gaining more than 0.5% of your overall body weight each week, eat less. Boom, those are the four steps, you are welcome. Feel free to ask whatever questions you might have down in the comments. And just by following these four steps, you're gonna get pretty far. If you guys are liking the breakdown of Michael B. Jordan's training for Black Panther and wanna see me cover Jason Momoa's training for Aquaman, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment Fishboy down below. So now let's talk about the rest of Michael B. Jordan's training for Black Panther and his steroid use. Michael B. Jordan followed this bodybuilding style routine six days a week for the months leading up to Black Panther. And throughout the process, he went from a lean 175 pounds to a jacked 194. That's a huge gain, but trust me, not all of it was muscle, and he definitely put on a good amount of fat and also water weight over those months. So for the last month leading up to shooting, Corey had Michael change up his program so he's doing more interval style bodybuilding training. And this helped Michael shred down to his final weight of 184 pounds for the movie. Now onto the question that everyone is naturally asking. Did Michael B. Jordan take steroids for his Black Panther transformation? Personally, I don't think he did. He didn't put on an insane amount of muscle super quickly. The amount of training volume he was doing seemed pretty reasonable for a young, healthy, fit man. And he didn't get crazy lean for the role. There just really aren't any red flags jumping out at me that scream, Michael B. Jordan shoves needles in his cheeks. But it is Hollywood, and maybe it's just those extra small sweaters, but Michael B. Jordan's trainer, Corey, does look, uh, let's say, enhanced. So with him as a trainer, uh, anything's possible. So here's the program I designed based off of Michael B. Jordan's no-nonsense bodybuilding training for Black Panther. It's a five-day week push-pull full body program designed to beef you up and get you jacked. To get the full free workout PDF, just follow the link in my description. Now that you've learned how to build some serious size, you're gonna wanna go watch my video on how Michael B. Jordan cut down after Black Panther and got shredded for Creed 2. There's lots of great information about fat loss in that video that you're gonna wanna know. See you guys there.